global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. The issue of insecurity is not news anymore in Nigeria, but what is going on right now, the present one that has caused a lot of rancor and uh, outcry is the uh, the current Southern Kaduna killings. Well, as we speak, uh, there is, as at this time of filing the report, there is a protest going on at the U.S. Embassy in Abuja. You're going to be seeing the pictures at, as, as we keep talking, as the Nigerians are actually currently protesting at the United States Embassy at Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, over the incident killings in Southern, Af uh, Southern Kaduna. They're actually calling on the U.N to intervene, calling on international bodies to intervene that has gone beyond the uh, normal norm as it looks as if Nigeria is looking helpless. Southern Cardinal people are looking helpless over the insecurity issue. But before we go into the news proper for the analysis, we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and the bell notification icon to get both subscribed and notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. All right, the protest came on the heels of the recent killings in Southern Kaduna as suspected Fulani militia men had last week Friday unleashed fresh attacks on Apesheim, Kibori, At Atak, Makwe, Abiyoko, and Makamiya villages in the area. Reacting over the killings, protesters took to the streets of Kaduna Lagos and Abuja on Saturday morning to protest over what they described as genocide taking place in the southern part of Kaduna State and the government's inability to stop the killings. Not yet satisfied with what the government is doing to stop the incessant killings, Nigerians today, the 15th of August 2020, organized another protest asking the international community to stop pretending that they are not seeing what is really happening in southern Kaduna. One of the organizers, Henry Shield, who took to his social media account while sharing some photos from the protest, called on the international community not to turn a blind eye on the southern Kaduna killings. The international community will no longer pretend that this that this is they are not seeing the steady bloodshed that is ongoing in Nigeria. Some Nigerians have taken to the social media handle to react. But very, very quickly, we will take um, a quick one. This one, he continued. He said, look, he said, meanwhile, the Supreme Court for... Now one further, let's just take a quick one here. This one here is saying that... Um, this is the way to go. Nigerians need help. All right. I want to quickly take um, commentaries over this matter because Nigerians have started reacting. You know, before now, we always talk about social media handle that most Nigerians are always, some persons, some persons call Nigerian e-warriors as in online warriors. They just talk all the protests, do all their protesting online. But this one is offline. They were live and direct in, um, in the American embassy protesting that they really do need international intervention on the Southern Cardinal killings. But let's quickly take uh, what Nigerians are saying cut across board over this matter this one here is saying thank you and God bless you all for coming out this one here is saying a commander will wait for many people to get killed and still do nothing as in God help us all. this one here is saying I think the blood is not yet enough for at UN to act but please do something it's a pity Nigerians are generally calling on the United Nations, calling an international body, an international organization, international body to please come and intervene on the Southern Cardinal issue. It looks as if right now uh, the hands, the faith of Southern Cardinals are actually in the hands of the international bodies because the truth of the matter is much as the government of the day are trying, but it looks like their efforts are still not good enough to save the, the, what is going on in uh, Southern Kaduna. This one here is saying thank you for thank you all for protesting. This is a good development. Gradually we get to a national protest. This one here is saying, God bless you for organizing this. This one here is saying Otoge, Nigeria is long overdue for this. This one here is saying you are this one here is saying thank you for all for this priceless effort. God bless. We are all awaiting the response of the international body and when they will send investigators to investigate the ongoing genocide in southern Kaduna. This one here is saying, oh, 
please god have mercy let them intervene very quickly this one here is saying we need help lord have mercy this one here is saying let the protest continue non-stop if other disgruntled nigerian nigerians watching bb niger youth are responsible they will sh they should join this protest to create a serious impact after all if you don't protest today you might be the next victim this one here said the killing just have to stop this one here said i don't believe in nigeria talk more of one nigeria we want them today we want them today so many people have paid with their precious lives this one here is saying gradually the youth are awakening okay this one here is saying fantastic i love this they them go arrest tire sudden cardinal killings must stop and nobody must lose his accessory land to foreign land grabbers this one here is saying we know who they are who they are mm, yeah i don't know who they are if you do because the truth of the matter is this whole killing needs to stop and needs to stop all right now all right this is how far we'll go on the commentary that is ongoing but i'll quickly say this uh protests last time i checked is still very legal and I, I really appreciate the fact that there has not been any counter protest although one of the respondents here said watch and wait by tomorrow there will be a counter protest against this and i when i saw that response i laughed you are you going to counter protest that was that the killing is okay they're not saying anything terrible they're only saying let the killing stop let there be peace in southern kaduna and I think that's the same Southern Cardinal that the Dr. Malafia was talking about, where he, he, his statement was now seen as baseless simply because um, he couldn't come up with proofs. Okay, but the truth be told, this needs to stop. The level of insecurity is increasing every day. Uh, I think that very fairly recently uh, there was a video I was I, I watched where a truck carrying over over. 50 to 90 youths, young boys, young guys, no no female, no children, entering Shagamo, they were intercepted. They were so much. And these are young guys. You know, ask the question, where are they moving to? Where are they coming from? Where are they? What do they know they are going to? And these are the things we are looking at. This issue, every, for the now, let everybody remain in this state. But the issue of Southern Cardona has gotten, it has gotten to the climax. I think through the, the internal, international body should intervene. Maybe, just maybe, our, our security apparatus are overwhelmed by the issue of insecurity. But then we should call out for help. I believe the governor should, if it's overwhelming, should actually ask for help from it, probably for other, other, other governors to come to his aid or some sort but these killings just needs to stop okay the level of insecurity is increased I'm, I'm i'm wondering though with this level of insecurity do investors really believe that they should invest in nigeria because if they keep hearing the same thing over and over again this issue of tourism this issue of um, investment for business and which is the yardstick to which we need to grow our gdp one of the yardsticks to use to grow our gdp if they're not investing people, investors are not coming in then it's a bad sign Although, of course, you know, we know China has been borrowing us money. It's a win-win for China anyway. But the truth be told, Nigeria needs, for the now, the insecurity is really biting deep and hard. And Southern Cardinals are really crying out for international intervention. That's where we're going to wrap it up. What to take on the protest that is ongoing as at now of filing this report is going on in um, United uh, uh, American Embassy in Abuja. Let's interact in our comment section. What's a take on this? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more updates on this and much more. Have a nice